Um, I know some of you will be looking at this and saying, oh, when we want to shade these laurel, just always go to where the arrow shades. Wherever the arrow points, that's where you shade. That is not always true. That is, can you can correct that when you always have your variable to on the left-hand side. And you guys will notice that. But let's just go ahead and graph this again if we're going to create a number line to graph this solution. Again, the main important thing is I go to 2. And then here's 3, 4, 5, 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2. Now, in this case, what this reads is 2 is greater than or equal to x. So again, could you do test points? You make a nice big open circle, and you could say 2 is greater than or equal to 2. Um, or you could also say, you know, then we just pick another test point. 2 is greater than or equal to 4, right? So you don't even have to rewrite it. But a lot of you might say, um, I don't like with the variable on the right-hand side. I want the variable on the left-hand side. So if we're going to do that, just notice that 2 is greater than or equal to x. So if I was going to rewrite this, it would be x is less than or equal to 2. Exact same. All right? But now when you have it with the variable on the left-hand side, you can now confirm that, yes, is 2 greater than or equal to 4? No, that's false. Is 2 greater than or equal to 2? In this case, it's true. So that means 2 is a part of our solution. And just think about it, guys. I mean, you can try a test point if you're having trouble. You know that negative 1 is less than or equal to 2, so that's true. But just think about it. x is less than or equal to 2. What numbers are less than or equal to 2? Numbers to the left or numbers to the right? Obviously, to the left. So your graph. And again, when your variable is on the left-hand side, you can see you can also follow like that arrow pointing over there. All right, But it's very, very important. I prefer always double-checking your work by using test points to make sure you have it correctly. All right.